Hey guys, welcome back. This is a very third video in our series getting started with Deno. And in this video, we'll build a simple logger and we'll see how we can use Deno standard libraries and third party modules to help us achieve that. All right, guys. So in Deno, we can use the standard libraries provided by Deno. These are the libraries that are basically reviewed and audited by the core Deno team and are guaranteed to work with Deno. Uh, to access that, you can just click on the standard library link over here. It will take to take you to a URL called as deno.lan slash std. Where you'll see a list of uh, standard libraries available. Using them is pretty much very easy. Just click on any one of it and yeah and then all you have to do is basically import the main file that's it and always remember to use a particular version instead of the master branch because that gives you uh, a solidity that your code won't change dynamically we will see how we can actually use these standard libraries uh, when we actually build a small logger uh, the other thing that is available in Deno that can help us speed up our app development are the third party modules. These are similar to NPM uh, in Node.js. Um, these are built by community and they are not necessarily audited by the Deno team but they will most probably work. So one of the really good uh, third party module I like is Denon. Uh, this is similar to Nodemon. Uh, in Node.js, it will basically restart your app whenever you change certain things in your code. Now let's try and install Denon onto a system and try to use it with our application. So just click on this library and let's see what it has to say. I'll select a particular version. And here you can see there are steps to install. Um, there are two repositories from where we can actually install this. One is deno.lan and the other one is nest.lan. Uh, both of them are kind of similar, but then the only difference is that nest.lan is completely based on blockchain. And as a result, any package published on nest.lan is like very difficult to remove, or it's basically impossible to remove. So just keep a note of that. Uh, in case and not all packages are available on nest.lan so let's just try and install this i have already installed it uh, for you to install you'll basically have to run this uh, command in your terminal so once you've completed the installation let's try and run our server using denon this time let me head back to my code editor and i'll do Denon run allow network app.ts. Okay, my bad. It should be allow net and the app is running. So, just to test it out, if our Denon is restarting the app on any code change, let's add a log and see. there you go so as soon as you make any changes to your code file denon will basically detect those changes and then restart your application so this will make your development quite fast now what you want to do is uh, instead of just having a sing simple console.log started right i just want to add a little bit of formatting and a bit of more details that should give you what is the timestamp when the app started and whenever there's a request to a server it should just log log that request so to do that uh, we'll need a request identifier uh, and we'll be using the uuid package from denon standard libraries now let's just see how we can install it uh, and use it into our system head back to your browser go to denon um, standard libraries and then you must find a package called as UUID. Let me just copy paste this and import it into my application.
and then I say uh, is is it generate or is it generate UUID? Let me just check out the documentation. Yeah, it's just generate. So this should generate a UUID every time our app restarts. And now I just want to log it at the start of the app. So if you see below, uh, it's logging the uniquely generated ID right now. So this is as like, using standard libraries is as simple as just importing and then using those functions all right so now uh, the next thing i'm going to do over here is i'll basically create a small logger class uh, that will basically log a request uh, in a more clean and a better way so let me just add a new file called as logger.ts and we'll export a class called as logger We'll create a static method so that we don't have to initialize the class before using it. Uh, it should take a unique identifier and then the message it wants to log. Before logging, we'll generate the timestamp uh, on which it's getting logged. So timestamp will do date dot now. That should be good enough. This should be capital case. Okay, and then go console dot log. You say UUID first, and then you console the date or the timestamp, and then you finally go and add the message you want to lock. Right. So our simple class is ready, uh, and it can be used into our main application. So let me head back to my main file app.ts. The first thing I'll need to do is import the class over here. And then instead of console.log, I'll just use logger.log. It should take in the UUID and a message stating server up and running on port 3000. Now, if you see below, the app just restarted and we have a really nicely formatted logo here which gives you the unique ID and the date at which exact timestamp at which your server started and the message. Now let's just also use it when we are making requests to a server. Just copy this, put it over here. And here we'll have to generate a new ID, unique ID every time we basically uh, make a new request. And then you just say request served all right so right now you won't see anything over here now let me just head back to the browser and access this url localhost 3000 and see what happens it gives you hello world over here but you should be able to see a log getting printed with the request ID and a timestamp. So guys, that is about it for this video. Uh, in this video, we basically learned how we can use the Deno standard libraries or the third party modules to help build our application. But in the next video, we'll see how we can actually build an API in Deno. So the real fun begins in the next video. See you soon.